The Neymar Heavy Armored Personnel Carrier plays a significant role in the IDF's modernization strategy. It's designed based on the Merkava MK.4 main battle tank chassis, making it one of the most highly protected APCs globally. This vehicle offers infantry a level of security and mobility akin to the latest main battle tanks. The initial batch was delivered in 2008, and Israel's plan was to obtain 170 Neymar heavy APCs by 2017. Originally, the intention was for 386 units, but this number was later reduced due to budget limitations. The first prototype, named Namera, Tigris, was established on the outdated Merkava MK.1 MBT chassis. This version was presented in 2005 for testing but didn't receive production requests. Plans for conversion were abandoned in favor of using newly constructed Merkava MK.4 chassis, which was publicly disclosed in 2008. The Neymar Heavy APC incorporates modular armor in the Mile Ruach Active Protection System, also known as Trophy, as an integral component for the first time. The vehicle is also equipped with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. It offers the same level of protection as the Merkava MK.4. Armed with a remotely operated weapon station, housing a 12.7mm machine gun, replaceable with a 40mm grenade launcher, the vehicle also features a manually operated 7.62mm machine gun atop the roof. It's equipped with an advanced battlefield management system. Crewed by two individuals, the Neymar can carry 10 infantrymen or two stretchers. Troops embark and disembark via the rear ramp, while the hull roof has two hatches for the commander and gunner. Though it shares the Merkava MK.4's running gear, the Neymar has a distinct hull. Initial production models are powered by the Merkava MK.3 MBT's Continental AVDS 1790-9 AR diesel engine, generating 1,200 horsepower. However, there are plans to replace this with a more modern Continental or MTU unit. There are reports suggesting the existence of a command post vehicle based on the Neymar Heavy APC. The IDF has also explored the development of other support variants, including an armored recovery vehicle, technical support vehicle, ambulance, and an infantry fighting vehicle armed with a 30mm cannon and anti-tank guided missiles.